hi hello good morning youtube and today i'm going to uh, troubleshoot zebronic pulse oximeter i'm just going to check uh, uh, why it is not turning it on why it's not turning on uh, the battery is new the battery is new but still i'm not able to turn this on i just uh, did a vis visual examination i found here the positive and negative uh, terminals the the wire from one of the terminals have disconnected there's only positive the negative is disconnected uh, so since it's locked down i won't be able to claim warranty for this 1600 rupees pulse oximeter i do have warranty it just lasted less than a month so why this happens every time we put our finger in uh, the the wires here gets stressed up and it gets disconnected if you see here if you closely see one of the wire have disconnected then the black wire so let me show you how we can do this how we can troubleshoot okay so, uh, let me first try to remove the side cover it's just a sticker which gets locked here okay so I remove it keep it safe keep it safe now you need to take off the pads here it's not a rocket science you just take it off it comes off just like that okay you keep it here i find the black wire and the yellow wire as disconnected so what you need to do is after removing the side clips you need to remove the spring it is very easy you just press it down it will come out come out okay okay now we find two of the cables inside have come out one is the yellow another one is the black even white is kind of outside so we need to solder all two cables the yellow the black to the terminal let me prepare the soldering machine and i'll turn on the camcorder okay So now the solving is heated. Always use a fine lead. Don't use a, a normal uh, adulterated lead. Always use a fine, pure, pure lead so that you will be able to stick to the contact easily. Okay. If you want, you can use flex. <coughs> First, solder the wires to the sensor the yellow and the white okay the wires are very fine you need to be very cautious while doing it don't usually st stick very easily 
be precise with patient with patients okay so this is plus to cross check just check the underneath of the plastic bottom So make sure you you fit this and you try to solve uh, the positive and the negative terminals I have inserted the battery to check if I'm doing it in the right way yeah it's turning it on it will say sensor off because we have not connected the sensor okay so the terminals are in place So let's solder the sensor. So let me remove the battery before I deal with. I'm just disconnecting one battery. yeah the sensor is on right now so we see after the solving the sensor is working right now okay let's fix all this together and let's find out if it's trying to read properly okay yeah it's kind of reading Okay, let's find out. one is in all that you need to do is just pull back and you slip it inside the guide yeah done now you want to put the sensor housing just clean before you put it in clean the lens clean the lens not very great quality but okay okay it slips in easily then you put the batteries in to check if it's functional yes it works so what you it says finger out so you put your finger in yeah it starts sensing yeah so yeah great it starts to sense my oxygen level and the pulse it says 94 it keeps increasing because I don't have much of activity right now yeah 96 and 86 that's a great number i believe yeah okay this is how you quickly fix your pulse oximeter in case if it goes wrong not sensing 
anything after this it's a quick easy step you put back the guide here and you you just stick the side panels here okay this will hold your spring together and at last the battery cover your pulse oximeter is ready to go thank you for watching